Hello everybody. Holly and I are going up Cairnsmore today. So uh, we're going to do another wee vlog. We're just walking through Cairnsmore Estate at the moment. Um, it's a pretty changeable day. One minute it's sunshine and then the next minute it's peeing down. So we'll see what the weather brings for us. But once we start to get further up the hill, uh, I'll uh, show you some of the views if we've got any. So if you ever come in to walk up here in Smur, when you're coming through the estate, you need to look out for a wee pal, E.T. E.T. is handsome. Sometimes he's got a hat on. Today he has now, he must be feeling the heat today. But uh, hi, sometimes he's got a hat on, sometimes he's got hair. Every time I come up, he looks different. So you need to keep a wee eye out for him. So just stop for a wee second, that's um, that's us just properly onto the hill, we're through the field now and uh, we're properly onto the hill, um, just about to take the path to the summit, uh, we're not going to go the Melbourne path, we're going to go up to the summit. Um, do you ever have the days where you're just, your legs are like lead? It's one of them for me today, I don't know what's wrong but uh, I feel like my legs are absolute lead. If you've got any hints or tips of how to deal with that, give me a shout because I hate it. It's the worst feeling ever. So we stopped here, just as we come through the dike into the, what used to be forestry but it's all been cut down this year. Um, the views, this is where the views start to open up across the Cree estuary. Um, it looks towards the markers. I can't quite see Wigtown yet, yeah, but it's kind of behind the tree line there. But yeah, it starts to get nice from about here on up. Although I think I'm probably going to go into the clouds, so I don't know how much I'll see when I get any further up. But it's certainly looking nice over there at the moment, sun shining across the water ground. Climb wise, and I'll get to summit. Um, it's looking pretty grey and foggy up there, so probably not going to see much. But uh, I'll, uh, I'll come back when I'm in the summit. Get the Yay. Hello everybody. So we've made it to the summit. We're currently hiding in the wee shelter just beside the trig point. Um just grabbing a wee bite to eat a wee cup of coffee to heat this up because as you can probably see by my, my excuse me, my hands were absolutely freezing. So I've got my, I've got two tops on, a thermal top, a rugby top, a wicking rugby top, um, I, my rab down jacket and my rab waterproof jacket and I'm still Baltic. So 
and my Mars bar was as hard as a hard thing, so it's obviously pretty cold up here. Uh, I'm not sure what temperature it is, but it's it's cold. So uh, once I've downed my coffee, uh, we'll I'll do a quick video showing you the, the views because it's actually not too bad, believe it or not. It's kind of the wind's blowing most of the mist away, which is good. Um, I've obviously hit it at the right time, so I'll let. Uh, Holly, what are you doing? So I'll uh, yeah, I'll I'll show you the views and I'll show you the memorial and things, and then we'll uh, we'll head off. Catch you in a bit. Okay, I'm looking directly towards Muddy's Monument at the moment. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see that down there. It's uh, there. Uh, ruined the focus of the camera there, sorry. Uh, you can see it better now, of course. I had to re-record this because the wind noise just made me completely inaudible but uh, this is the Stone of Remembrance um, in relation to the air crashes, I think there's eight of them in total on uh, Cairnsmore. Um, this uh, Remembrance Stone was uh, put up in 1980 uh, and it relates to seven World War II crashes, one of which was a German aircraft and one in 1979. Uh, it names all of the airmen who sadly lost their lives in, in each of the, the crashes. Um, I think in total it's uh, 23 different names. Um, the It's quite nice that uh, you can see the kind of remains of uh, the crucifixes there um, and uh, on Remembrance Day there's a kind of group of the, the local lads and they come up and they, they remember the airmen who, who died on the on the hill, which is which is nice. It's a nice wee touch. You can see it's pretty wet. Um, I was absolutely uh, shivering at this point, and the wind was so strong. I mean, when I listened to the recording, I couldn't hear a word I said. Um, now I'm looking across, and I'm just pointing out the fact that we're looking over towards the Solway coast. Um, and I'll zoom in in a wee second and you'll see all of the the windmills out on the Solway. The turbines, the wind turbines for their, give them their Sunday names. Um, and also I think two of those hills there are Skreel and Criffle. Although I might not be 100% correct with that. If I'm wrong, please just let me know and I'll, I'll put a wee comment on letting everybody know that I've made a mistake. Uh, and now we're looking over towards Big Town across the Cree Estuary there. It turned into a beautiful evening. Um, the the wind cleared all the mist, and uh, the sun was getting low, and just it was casting a beautiful light over over everywhere, and it just looked absolutely stunning. <laughs> 